Dimitri Bivol says he's got the speed, power, and mobility to defeat Artur Baterbiev on October 12th in their undisputed championship clash. I uh, am in boxing since I remember myself. Uh, I have uh, all, all of it, to uh, all boxing skills to, to beat him. At a recent press conference held in London, Bivol said that he is eager to unify all belts and added, Ostort 12 will be an unforgettable night for boxing fans. Competing at Kingdom Arena, one of the world's top venues, is an honor, and I'm grateful to Riyadh's season for this opportunity. When asked what mattered most, the belts or the chance to take on Baterbiev, Bivol said, I wanted the undisputed fight first, and I wanted to fight against the best boxers in the light heavyweight division. This is my goals to make my name. He has these belts. Bivol said that it is his goal to become undisputed and all of his sacrifices would go to waste if he doesn't achieve the feat. Bivol stated, this is my goal when I came to pro boxing, to be the best in the light heavyweight division and this is the final fight to prove myself. What it means for me, I've been in boxing since I was six years old. I sacrificed so much in my life. This is the final step. Did I do everything right or not? I want to make sure that I did everything right. Bivol said that he has got everything in his arsenal to win against Bater he said, I'm a fighter that that's enough power, enough speed, enough movement, boxing technique, and IQ to defeat Baterbiev. I can sometimes use my speed and my movement. Of course, I'm expecting all scenarios. He can go. He could move forward so fast in the beginning. He can move also back and counterpunch. He has a lot of good skills, and he can use it against me. With Archer Baterbiev sitting approximately 10 meters away from him at the top table in London, Dmitry Baval was typically respectful about the task ahead. He also thanked Baterbiev for making this fight possible. My team, uh, Vadim Kornilov, to my promoters, uh, Eddie Hearn, uh, Frank Smith, uh, Andrei Rybinski. Everyone was uh, wanted to make this fight also. And of course to Artur Baterbiev, thank you uh, for making this fight uh, also. And uh, this is my goal when I came to pro boxing. Artur Baterbiev is a man of few words, but the hugely capable WBC, WBO, and IBF light heavyweight champion has said he is 100% fit and focused on his October 12th unification bout with WBA King Dmitry Bivol. Artur said, it's top of the meaning in boxing when you have four belts, and that's it. I want to win a fourth one. Asked if he was specifically happy with the defining contest coming against Bivol, who he has known since his amateur day. Days. But Terbiev added, every opponent is different, every person is different, but we have prepared for this fight to be ready for everything. The contest was originally set for June, but Baterbiev injured his meniscus and the fight was postponed for his need to heal. He now says he is ready and would not be fighting if he was not fully repaired and prepared. Baterbiev said, yes, because I always do preparation for 100%, half is not for me. But better BF stopped short of making a prediction for the fight. When asked if he sees sees himself going the distance with Bivol, considering that Better BF is the only champion with 100% knockout ratio in today's boxing era, but Airbf said that he never wants to knock out anyone and rather focuses on other details of the fight. I mean, again, so far, no one has gone the distance with you. Do you expect to go the distance October 12th? I never did prediction, but, uh, you know, I end. I never uh, want to knock him out someone you know it's happened happened like uh, i always uh, more focus for different details you know like to prepare to to do good things it's mean for me good things the press conference ended with a face-off between the two unbeaten fighters <laughs> One thing that is going in Better BF's favor is he doesn't move a lot except in straight lines. So the only thing he'll need to be concerned about is getting to Bivol to cut off the ring if he chooses to stay on the run. But Terbiev's ability to cut off the ring will be important because Bivol won't be able to stay in the pocket and fight him due to his lack of power, weak chin, and tendency to avoid taking punishment. But Terbiev has previously said that he's considering moving up in weight if he's victorious in his undisputed light heavyweight clash against Bivol. If Bivol loses to Better BF, he'll need to continue pursuing his vision to become undisputed in a rematch if there is one. Main goal, you know, for this category. We'll see after. <laughs> what, Any what? other challenges in yeah. mind? Yeah, if 
challenges, maybe. If Baturbiev vacates the titles and moves up to cruiserweight, Bivol would need to collect the belt slowly, which could take years. Bivol also expects Betterbiev to be in the best shape of his life despite Betterbiev facing injury earlier this year. Bivol said, Artur Betterbiev is a really good pro fighter. He knows how to fix his problems. He could be in the best shape. That's what I have in my head. Of course, I'm not thinking about that he was injured or the fight was postponed. We agreed to this date. We're going to fight and he's going to be in the best shape. When asked if he respects Betterbiev, Bivol said, Of course, I respect all fighters that went into the ring with me. I just believe believe I can use all my skills. I need to use all of it. I have to think twice and be focused all the fight and I can win. I believe he's the most powerful and the most stronger fighter. Moreover, Canelo Alvarez recently revealed that he is keen to move back up in weight to avenge that loss and believes it's the only fight that can add to his legacy. He stated, right now there's not much people left. I fought everybody. Bivol is one of the guys I'd have my rematch with to add to legacy. Like I say, if he wins 175, undisputed. Bivol is only the second man to ever defeat Canelo, outpointing him back in 2022 when the Mexican moved up to 175 LBS to challenge for the Russian's WBA title. Bivol has now responded to Canelo's comments about the rematch. He said, no, I'm not surprised because he was mentioning it before. I don't think about the rematch at all. I have my training camp and the Baterbia fight, and then we will see. It's just talks. If he wants to do a fight, he doesn't need to talk to media. He needs to talk to Eddie Hearn. Bivol went on to praise Canelo's performance against Berlanga. He added, it was good fight. I didn't see it in full, but I saw a bit and he was good. Berlanga was bigger, but Canelo's boxing skills are better, of course. Even better, BF was asked if he'd like to fight Canelo. He responded by saying that he's only focused on Bivol right, but mentioned that he fancied the idea of fighting Canelo when he had a belt in the lightweight division. I would love to see Art Baturbiev and Canelo Alvarez. I don't know. When he, Canelo Alvarez has uh, one belt from my division, that time I want to fight with him, but now I don't, I don't think so. It's... I don't know, interestingly, really didn't interest him. I'll fight with him. When speaking previously about the fight, Canelo tipped Bivol to get the victory with his in and out footwork holding the key. He said, I think if Bivol has the condition and good game plan to go there, in and out, and do all these things, I think he wins. However, in a more recent interview, Canelo now believes it's a 50 50 contest and gives Baterbiev every chance of getting his hand raised. I don't plan to travel. And then, then again, this is a 50-50 fight. A fight between two very accomplished fighters. People is going to have a very tough opponent in front of him. It's going to be a good fight. However, trainer Robert Garcia has tipped Dimitri Bivol to earn a decision over Artur Baterbiev on October 12th. He stated, I can't wait for that one, man. That's going to be a fight that's hard to pick the winner. I lean towards Bivol by decision. I just think he's got that style that he's not going to allow Baterbiev to get in. I don't know. I just think Bivol will push it up and earn a decision win. Garcia acknowledges that Baterbiev remains tough at 39 years old. He has knocked out every opponent he has faced during his 11 year professional career. And while Bivol represents his greatest challenge, Garcia knows Baterbiev has the power to be a constant threat. Garcia further added, I also wouldn't be surprised if Baterbiev hurts Bivol and knocks him out because that guy has so much power that he could knock anybody out. Robert Garcia believes that Bivol may find himself in difficulty against the knockout King Baterbiev. He stated that in order to win this bout, Bivol must be the better fighter in the ring. He also believes that Bivol has to move quickly to counter the power of Baterbiev. Well, that's what Bivol's gonna do. Just boom, 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 touch, touch, and move, and touch, touch, and move. But that power is always there, man. That power is the last thing that leaves. Todd Duboff insisted Baterbiev is looking for his 21st destruction. He said, when we come into the fight game, one thing we really like is we like that absolute determination when somebody goes for that absolute destruction. And every time Arder gets in the ring, he just goes to terminate. When I first met him in Canada, I was scared out of my mind sitting at a table. The guy is an absolute animal. You just feel it. Baterbiev's former opponent, Callum Johnson, says that Baterbiev's power gave him nightmares. When asked who he thinks would win the fight between Bivol and Baterbiev, Callum chose Baterbiev. You ask me who I think is going to win, I say Baterbiev. Is that because I want him to win? You know, I, I think I do want him to win, just because it kind of like makes it look a little bit better for me, if you like. But it's a very interesting fight, one I'm looking forward to.
When you look back at your experience in the ring with Better Be A Flyer, if you could describe his power, because I was starting to think... Because I'm going to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> Posting in reply to a question about who will come out on top in the upcoming mouthwatering clash, Shakur Stevenson gave his answer on X. He wrote, I got Bivol, but it's a very hard for him to win. Undisputed heavyweight champion Oleksandr Usyk predicts who will be the world's next undisputed light heavyweight champion. The cat Usyk selected Bivol as a likely victor. The Ukrainian champion said, I guess Bivol. He has good legs, good movement. I watched the fight with Canelo Alvarez. Good boxing, defending, counterpunch, and combos. Artur Baterbiev would easily defeat Dmitry Bivol, according to Jile Zhang. Zhang discussed the fight, claiming that Baterbiev's power will be too much for Bivol, resulting in a knockout victory. He said, they're both great fighters, but Baterbiev will hurt him and probably end this fight with a knockout. I think Baterbiev's power will overwhelm Bivol's in and out footwork and his skill set. I think Baterbiev is just way too strong. Lyndon Arthur, who has previously sparred with Artur Baterbiev, expressed his opinion on the fight between Baterbiev and Dmitry Bivol. Arthur recognizes Bivol's superior technical abilities and great boxing IQ, which will make him a difficult opponent. However, he feels Baterbiev's sheer power is an important consideration that should not be overlooked. I just want to ask you, obviously, as a man who shed the ring with Dimitri Bivol, he's facing Arta Baterbiev now. What's your thoughts on that undisputed match? Well, I used to think, I used to think Bivol was the, no, I still think Bivol was the best, Bivol was elite, but now I've seen that, and I've felt Bivol doesn't hit as hard as what I think he needs to to keep to keep Baterbiev off. I've sparred Baterbiev, I know how I know how hard Baterbiev hits in 16 ounces. I wouldn't like to take them shots in 10 ounces. Not for as long as that anyway. As a 12 round fight and I don't know man, before the boxer through and through and he'll and, and be, ha be happy to stay in there and box it off if it, if it can be done. But. Roy Jones Jr. feels Dimitri Bivol has a tiny advantage heading into his massive undisputed fight against Archer Baterbiev later this year. Jones Jr., a former light heavyweight champion, has cited various reasons why Bivol should be regarded the front runner. He said, no, it's not a 50-50 fight. One, Better Biev is 38 years old, 39. Better Biev has been down, Bivol has never Never been down, said Jones Jr. when speaking to Boxing Social. Bivol has been in there with who, at the time, was the pound for pound best in Canelo Alvarez and made him look like nothing. He further added, So it's not a 50 50, but Terbiev has got everything to show me to bring it back to a 50 50 fight. Right now, Bivol has the advantage 60 40. Tim Bradley was asked to call the undisputed fight, but couldn't. He said, Tough fight. I'm gonna say 50 50. He then admitted he had previously backed Bivol to win but now sees it as a closer contest that will require the best of the Russian. I've always favored Bivol, but Bivol is going to have to fight a perfect fight to keep Baterbiev off of him. The former super middleweight world champion leans towards Baterbiev in the clash of relentless and powerful pressure against precision and movement. You have to have a really good jab to establish, create, and maintain that distance with Baterbiev. If you don't have that jab that keeps him busy, honest, and at long range, then he will eventually just march you back. Every time Smith had his back on the ropes, he was in severe danger. Bivol is much more comfortable boxing off the ropes, but I think Baterbiev's the favorite. Maybe there's recency bias there. I'd probably go with Baterbiev win, but I wouldn't be confident on it. Eddie Hearn praised Artur Baterbiev, stating that Bivol had never met a boxer exactly like him before. Hearn stated that Bivol is the underdog in this contest, adding that Baterbiev is so difficult that it's as if he's not even human like you're fighting a guy that's not human you know he's not breathing every shot hurts even in the clinches you see how strong he is I, I'm not sure I've seen anything like it before really um, it's like he's not right it's just like he's just it's an unfair advantage Eddie Hearn also praised Artur Baterbiev stating that Bivol has never met a boxer quite like him before Hearn emphasized that Bivol is the underdog in this game and he defined Baterbiev as so tough that facing him is like confronting someone who isn't even human he said I know he's getting older and you hope that he is slowing down but he is not he's actually doing his best performances now it is very difficult to outbox him in the 12 rounds because he is actually going to wear you down he is going going to force the pressure with 
his shots around the back of the head and shots on the ears. They really hurt. Sean Porter shared his thoughts on the impending game. Porter expressed confidence in Bavol's ability to defeat Better Biev, anticipating that the fight would not end in the early rounds, as previous occurrences have demonstrated. Artur Baterbiev is going to take a lot of punches like he always does, and I don't think he can catch up to Dimitri Bivol, stated Porter. Nope, he can't drag Bivol into a fight. Too damn disciplined, too much lateral movement, too intuitive, good boxer. George Groves praised both fighters and their respective styles. He said, Baterbiev, once he lands, he has an affect. The question would be, can he land on Bivol, and does it have the same affect with everyone else he's boxed? Bivol was exceptional against Canelo. When he gets his game plan set up and he sticks to it, he boxed exquisitely well, but it's a safety first approach from Bivol, and you realize he hasn't stopped anyone in a long time. Years and years. He beat Lyndon Arthur out in Saudi recently, but I thought he would do a bit more of a demolition job on him. And if you put Lyndon Arthur in with better BF, you'd think he'd just walk through him. Super middleweight contender Lonnie Thompson predicts a fast knockout victory for unified light heavyweight champion Arter Better Biev. Lonnie has sparred with Better Biev before and knows firsthand how powerful and talented he is. He feels that Bivol is too small and weak to hold off Better Biev. He said, I'm excited for the fight. It's going to be on. You know who I'm going to be rocking with Better Biev? I don't think it's going to go past seven or eight. Lonnie feels that Bivol doesn't move nearly well enough to keep Better Biev from cutting off the ring on him and trapping him into exchanges, which he's not designed for against this type of puncher. He further added, in my opinion, he, Bivol, doesn't move that well for more rounds than that, and Arter cuts off the ring extremely well, and just the beating on them on the shoulders and the hips, and I think Bivol is going to get stopped relatively fast. Blair Cobbs believes Arter Baterbiev's strength will be a game changer when he faces Dmitry Bivol later this year. Baterbiev enters the bout unbeaten and with a perfect knockout record, even though Bivol may be his most difficult opponent thus far. Cobbs, a welterweight contender himself, feels Baterbiev will prevail. He stated, Arter Baterbiev has unbelievable strength and power. I don't know how Bivol is going to be able to fight somebody like that. I don't see Bivol being able to survive something like that, but it will be very interesting. Bivol could land too many punches on Baterbiev, mess around, and start piling on points. Joe Smith Jr. is a struggling boxer who has suffered losses against Arter Baterbiev and Dmitry Bivol. His battle with Bivol was rather competitive, and he even knocked Bivol down at one point. However, when he met Better Biev, it turned out to be one of his worst performances. Despite this, Joe feels that Bivol is a superior fighter overall than Better Biev. In a recent interview with Themistody, Joe was asked which of the two combatants was more difficult. In my opinion, I felt Bivol was, you know, the tougher fight for me. You know, he's an all-around fighter, but both fighters are very skilled, you know. Better Biev, he's He's very accurate with his punches. He hits you where he wants to. But, you know, it's... So what do you think about this fight? Share your thoughts in the comment sections below and also like and subscribe to our channel if you like this video.